Welcome to Religion, Philosophy and Ethics at Crompton House. Yes, this is Religious Studies A-Level, but it is something very new and very unique from anything that you've studied at GCSE. Our Religious Studies A-Level is made up of three separate areas of study in Religion, Philosophy and Ethics, and you will have a separate teacher for each of those three areas. The religion that we study at Crompton House is Christianity. In the first few weeks of your study at uh, Religion, Philosophy and Ethics, you will meet your three specialist teachers. You will spend three hours a fortnight with each of your teachers and in the first few weeks you will just get an introduction into what these subject areas are about. You will get to meet your teachers and meet your classmates and understand what a study of philosophy is, what a study of ethics is and what it is we will be learning about in Christianity. The type of homework that you will get will vary across your subject areas and across the teachers that will be delivering their specialist areas to you. As a literacy based subject we will often be asking you to read articles around the subject to further develop your understanding of the issues that we're looking at in class. We may be asking you to prepare, do some reading in preparation for learning about a new topic and often we can be asking you to plan your essays. Our course is 100% exam based. At the end of year 13 you will take three two hour exams, one in religion, one in philosophy and one in ethics. They are all weighted equally and contribute to one final overall A level grade in religious studies. Within our subject, you will have to answer an AO1 and an AO2 question. An AO1 is all about explaining or examining how much you know about that area of study. So you may be asked, for example, to explain Aquinas' natural moral law. That is worth 20 marks, so it is an extended essay answer. The next part will be an AO2 question where you'll be asked to evaluate the effectiveness or whether or not natural moral law works in today's modern society. And that is for 30 marks where you'll be asked to critically evaluate um, how it does and how it doesn't using ethicists to support your answer and using modern day examples. Each year we attend the Manchester Candle Conference. This is an opportunity for you to listen to keynote speakers who are experts in the area. To delve deeper into the subjects that you've been looking at in class is a great opportunity. It is also attended by A-level students all over the Northwest. So you get to meet your fellow um, RPE uh, course students. They are the people who will be sitting the same exam as you. So being able to enter into discussions with them, listen to how they answer, listen to examples that they have is a great opportunity and there's lots to learn from this trip. In preparation for your A-level in Religion, Philosophy and Ethics, we recommend that you look at the pre-A-level material on the website. Here we've provided a wide list of podcasts, of films, of um, books and other things for you to be looking at. These will give you an opportunity to start to look at what study of philosophy is, what study of ethics is, and start to help you understand what your ideas might be about how to make moral decisions or what your response is to some of these wider questions. This list of pre-reading material isn't essential for September start and we don't expect you to have finished at all, but it will give you a taster and it will start to allow you to explore your ideas on our subject areas. This is also really useful for when you want to do some wider reading around the course in the cross year 12 and year 13. Within the first few weeks of our A-level you really are just getting a little taster and a little insight into our three really complex areas of study. By the end of the two-year course you will be competent in explaining in detail the ideas presented by philosophers and ethicists. You will also be able to critically evaluate their ideas drawing upon other philosophers to support your reasoning. Lessons vary across the three subject areas and the three specialist teachers that you have, but expect a lot of debate, expect to come and share your opinion with the class, but also account for your reasoning and be able to share why you have that point of view and be able to hold that against challenges. In our lessons, we first start by looking at what the theory is and working together to understand that. We then look to evaluate that idea. So we are asking people to challenge those ideas and of course there will be a wide, a wide variety of views within our classroom. Religion, philosophy and ethics will provide you with a wide range of transferable skills from critical thinking to the ability to interpret information and formulate questions. To writing skills, the ability to construct a reasoned argument and articulate referencing as well as empathy and the ability to understand other people and their points of view. An A-level in religion, philosophy and ethics is the first step in developing, developing a wide range of soft skills which are essential in supporting academic ability in the world of work. 
The skills developed in religion, philosophy and ethics are helpful in a wide range of university courses, from religious studies to philosophy and theology, as well as subjects like law, psychology, history, English and PPE, philosophy, politics and economics. The subject matter and approach is highly desirable by the Russell Group Universities, who note that religion, philosophy and ethics offer students the opportunity to explore crucial questions in relation to beliefs, values and morality. In doing so, it provides excellent preparation for living in a multi-faith and multicultural society. We look forward to seeing you in September. We know that you will find our course challenging but enjoyable throughout and we hope that by the end of the two-year course you will hold the view that our current year 12s and 13s do, which is that it's the best A-level that they chose.